Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the show. This is T-Bone logging in with the Farming Simulator 2013 tutorial. In this episode I will guide you through missions, loans, buying fields and combining them together. So without further ado, let's go down to the farm and get started. In episode 1 I discussed the Kramer KL200 and the reasons for selling these tractors. So I will sell these and buy the Wiedemann 4270 CX100T with corresponding pallet fork. This will become useful for missions which I will explain in a moment. To collect this vehicle we could toggle to it by pressing tab and drive the vehicle back to the yard. However the quicker way of doing this is to press escape and scroll across to the vehicle selection map. This map displays all your vehicles and tools you own as well as their locations. You can use this either to fast travel to a particular vehicle you wish to use or reset vehicles back to the yard. By selecting this option any items you purchase can be reset to the yard negating the need to drive the vehicle back. Now let's discuss missions. In Farming Simulator these fall into two categories transport missions and mowing missions. You can control the frequency of the missions or turn them off by pressing escape and going to the appropriate menu. I would recommend leaving the missions on and have them occur frequently. This is a great way to make additional income to expand your farm quicker. Let's look at transport missions first. This involves using the Wiedemann we bought earlier. Missions will flash up as a message on screen detailing the mission type, reward and time limit. If you accept the mission a green circle will appear on your PDA, guiding you to the start point. You have a limited time to drive over there, so let's get in the front loader and step on it. At the start point you will see a pallet with whatever load you need to transport. You can control the pallet fork using the mouse, however I would recommend a controller as you have far better control over the fork. Picking up a pallet takes practice and patience to begin with but it is worth it. The timer will not start until you have picked up the pallet and it's a certain height or distance from the starting point. When the timer starts the green circle will move to the end point. Plan your route carefully to ensure to get to the end point in plenty of time. If you get there early not only will you receive the initial reward but a bonus depending on how quickly you get there. What you will find is with missions playing higher rewards the time constraints are more challenging with some of them impossible to meet with the Wiedemann. If you want to continue to do transport missions it is worth upgrading the front loader to a faster variant. While we are at the end point you will notice a cash point. This shows you your current finances and your loan status. Currently I owe the bank $100,000. The bank does permit an interest free loan of $200,000 so let's take advantage of it. You can pay it back using the cash point at any time. With this money I shall purchase a same Argon 375 tractor, a Coombe PZ280 and a Coombe PZ960 mower attachment. Mowing missions start in exactly the same way with a message on the screen. These are either at the golf course in the southeast corner of the map or at the campsite due north of the inn. The starting point will be highlighted on your PDA with the timer starting as soon as you start to mow the affected area. The game will still deem the mission completed once enough of the area has been mowed. You can use the Amazon Profi Hopper to do these missions. However, it is very difficult due to the speed of this particular mower and the working width. Hence, I would either use the Coombe mowers I've purchased or the Pottinger Eurocat 315H. Eventually, I would recommend having a tractor and mower at the campsite and the golf course ready to do these missions. With that covered, let's discuss buying fields and combining them together. Purchasing a field is a straightforward process. Walk up to the icon in the centre of the field you wish to buy and press R. This will display the current field price. If you have insufficient funds the price will be greyed out. Occasionally fields are auctioned. These events will flash up on screen and last for a limited time. The field number will flash if it is being auctioned on your PDA. Don't worry if you miss the auction or can't afford to buy that particular field. You can still purchase the field anyway in the normal way. When the field has been bought the number will change colour to green. In this case I've bought field 15. Due to its location this field is an ideal candidate to be merged with field 16 so let's look at this process now. First I would plough both fields in the direction that they will be merged. 
the furrows act as guidelines. If you are doing this process manually, remember to raise, turn and lower the plough at the end of each row. With both fields ploughed, select Create Fields mode by pressing O on the keyboard. Start approximately a tractor's width away from the field's edge and work your way across. When you have about a tractor's width left to do on the other side, I would save the game. Field edges are the hardest part of combining fields. At this point I would save your progress regularly so you can go back to an undo point. For best results I would ensure the plough is in the right orientation, use a controller and plough slowly. With the fields combined you can carry out a field rotation as normal. So we have covered missions, loans, buying fields and combining them together. In the next episode I will discuss harvesting corn, silage and the biogas plant. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Until next time, take care and enjoy your gaming. This is T-Bone logging off.